You might think that a farm-raised football player from the bluegrass state of Kentucky wouldn't take well to the unforgiving AstroTurf and fans that resided in Veterans Stadium. Well, former linebacker Frank LeMaster got to love both pretty quickly. I just fell in love with the people. After that first year and the fans, uh, I couldn't believe it. I mean, the Eagles were only winning anywhere from two, three, four games, you know, in, in the early 70s. Uh, but every game, they packed the stadium. You know, they were there. My uh, second season uh, turned out to really be just a great season. I led the team in tackles and, and had four interceptions, and it was a great year for me. It was always fun to play against the Redskins, and uh, uh, the, the, uh, that year in Washington was one of my best games. I think I made like 12 solo tackles and four assists that day. A couple fumble recoveries, two interceptions. One of them was for 89-yard touchdown. So it was one of those days where just everything went right, and, and particularly playing against the Redskins, uh, uh, it really meant a lot. One of our first goals next year will be to improve the overall intensity with which we play defense, not only from a physical standpoint, but from an emotional standpoint. One of the great things Coach Vermeil brought uh, was film study, and that is what made me improve the most. I knew I could play physically, but the film study I think took me from being an average NFL linebacker to being a Pro Bowl linebacker. Dick Vermeil, I mean, he was a tremendous motivator. And he knew how to build a winning chemistry. You look at all your great teams out there, and it's not the greatest talent that always wins, it's building that right chemistry. And he just had a way of recognizing the talent and recognizing of blending all those chemistries. We're right where we ought to be, playing for the first winning season since 1966. The Giants game in 1978 at home was a great win for us. It put us into the playoffs for the first time in 18 years. So that was, that was really rewarding for me. Basically, the game's going back and forth, and, and uh, I pick one off of about the 12-yard line and take it in uh, for a touchdown. Intercepted by Frank LeMaster, who picks it in. And that sealed the game to put us in the playoffs. So that was a, just a great moment for me. The Miracle of Meadowlands uh, turned out to be uh, the most unbelievable game and, and play that I, I think I've ever been involved in. It was a very physical game, both offensively and defensively. And it got down toward the end of the game and everything went in slow motion. It was, it's the first time it's ever happened to me. Well, there is nothing the Eagles can do. And Pazarczyk fumbles the football. It's picked up by Herman Edwards. I mean, I could literally see the ball hit his hip, bounce, and in full stride, Herm gets the ball, it bounces right into his stomach, and he takes off. And I just stand there and go, I don't believe this is happening. And it, was, it was unbelievable. It was one of the highlights of my career. And then <laughs> this year, watching, watching Michael Vick and, and company uh, turn things around the way they did, I mean, it was just unbelievable. And Jackson running that punt back. You could not have choreographed anything better. And the Eagles win! The Eagles win! This is Miracle in the Meadowlands number two! Going into the Super Bowl, um, particularly going into the Dallas game, I knew walking down the tunnel that day that we were going to win. I could sense it. I mean, my adrenaline was pumping so much I couldn't even feel my legs. I could not wait for the first play. It turned out to be our greatest game ever. And the high of knowing you're going to the Super Bowl, right then, that was just fantastic. You know, when you retire, that's when you really start going to work. It was one of the, it's one of the toughest transitions I ever made. A headhunter called me up, uh, and uh, there was a, a synthetic turf company looking for a uh, sales and marketing manager. And I told him, I said, look, I played on the worst turf in America for 10 years. I don't want to have anything to do with synthetic turf. And he says, oh, it's not like the old AstroTurf. So he took me out to a field, and I, I brought my cleats, and I put my cleats on, and I worked out you know, on field turf. And I said, I want to be in this business. So 10 years ago, I uh, started with field turf, and I'm regional sales manager now, and I love what I do. High schools is our biggest market. Um, you know, they're, they're so excited about ha having these fields. I know a lot about, obviously, about the performance. Our turf systems are 35% safer than natural grass. AstroTurf was four times more dangerous than natural grass. If I took you on a field and you know, I didn't tell you it was synthetic grass, you wouldn't know the difference. I mean, that's how, that's how good field turf is. It's something I really love to do. I love going to work every day. 
I love the people I'm dealing with, and it's something I know a lot about, too. Sports is, has basically taught me you only get out of life by what you put into it. If you give 110% in everything you do, you can walk away and, and you should feel like a winner. And, and that's, what, you know, that's what football's done for me.